Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that view. The what? Set up. The view. The setup. Oh yeah, the yeah, the decoration. It's hard. There she go. <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing, baby? What are you, some kind of world champion? Mm. First one? Yes. Yeah. What up, champ? Watch that. Hmm? Nova. Oh, you didn't want to do that. Oh, mama. Ha. <laughs> 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 She was putting on a show. She, 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 she was acting. Boxing, she, she, she got mad. She didn't want to show up. Box. She, <laughs> she's hungry and tired. And yeah. She said, man, hold up. It was a million man march out there today. Uh-oh. It's pretty easy. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Wait, wait. How is training camp and being a mother? A brand new mama. Does it break your con like your your focus? Sometimes? No, I think it makes it makes it so you're more focused because you know now you got a little you got a little lion at home. That part. You got you to provide for her. You got to be strong for her. So I feel like it makes you better. It really makes you better. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Hey man, today was the weigh-ins. How was it? Weigh-ins was easy. We made weight. We were underweight. Not what I wanted, but that's what happened. So. Gonna have to get this milk going for this baby and we'll be back. We'll be back again. That part, that part. I meant attend to the baby. You about to get her? <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. All right, let's get it. Uh, Go ahead, introduce yourself, man. Uh, my name is Ava Knight, former world champion two times and six six championship belts. All right, now shoot on a big card uh, tomorrow night. Well, afternoon, on a Sunday. That's yeah. random, it's weird. Sunday. Late afternoon, yeah. On a Sunday. Are you expecting? That's, you know, it's football time. Sunday football. Mm -hmm. Most times the fights are Saturday. Yeah. Is this new something new for you too? It's the first time? So fighting on a Sunday is new for sure. And um, earlier too. And early. And I'm like the first or the second fight of the night, which, you know, you would think I'd be complaining about, but getting it over with is just the best part to me like getting over with getting back to what i'm doing going and eating and have a good time with my friends and people like that to me is everything what you eating first right after the fight what you eat pasta i'm a pasta, pa I'm a pasta freak oh what kind of pasta white red all kinds all, all kinds. kinds yeah i love okay pasta okay in general. you cooking it no who cooking it or are you going to a place we're going somewhere obviously so we're just gonna pasta <laughs> we're good that part that part favorite restaurant you should be going to with the pasta man because i'm a foodie so if it's good, uh, I'm gonna pull, pull up. In Las Vegas, you gotta try Capos. Capos, what are you? Yeah. You been there? Yeah. You vouching for it? Capos is great. Sahara, Sahara. Oh, you got the address? Okay, mm -hmm. boy. Okay, yeah. player. I see you. Sahara it's, and it's like a good Rainbow. place. It's one of the, my favorites in Las Vegas. What you ordering for me right now? I don't know. I couldn't tell you off the top of the, my head. I like to look at the pictures on Yelp. Yeah. From one of those people. <laughs> okay. And I'll find the best thing that looks the best. Okay, for sure, for sure. Um, shoot, how big is this? This hmm? card, how big is this card coming up? How will it fight tomorrow? Like this is a huge card. I know, um, obviously, because I'm on it, but, uh, you know, Gervonta was supposed to fight Roley, which was a great card, not for boxing, but for entertainment. Obviously, Roley is the biggest troll on the internet right now, <laughs> I think. But it's, but it's great, because it's not for facts. boxing. Like, I, I love the way Roley sells himself. Yeah, facts. You know, like... I wouldn't do it, but to watch someone else do it is just entertaining. It's definitely entertaining. He yeah. is one funny guy, especially on Instagram. Mm -hmm. He's the best. <laughs> the I love best his stuff. I love the way he trolls and makes people look and makes people feel a certain way. And but he does it all on purpose. Yeah. So and he gets what he wants. He gets the the type of uh, responses that he he wants, which is great. That part. That part. Uh, shoot. Did you see the weigh-ins? Uh, Tank and uh, Cruz. Yeah, I was in the back. I didn't yeah. see exactly what. I don't know who pushed who. It was intense. Yeah. Is it always like that, or like, it, well, like, how is that going up to the podium, like, well, not the podium, to the scale, to I the face-off? Like, yeah, I feel like the whole face-off, aggressive pushing thing is like within the last six, seven years has gotten worse. Yeah. Um, is that good or bad? Again, you know, there was a lot of fights back in the day that were like that also. So I can't say it's new, but. 
for me to be on a card and I've never seen that before. Mm-hmm. I don't know where the aggression comes from. I wouldn't want to get fined before my fight, you right. know, by pushing someone. So, you know, but maybe it's just some part of an intimidation. It's a mental game. It's you going out there and trying to prove to this person that you're bigger than them and you're stronger and mentally you're there, but honestly, like going out and disrespecting someone to me is uh is it's probably something I'd never do. Yeah, facts, facts, facts. Hey, man, you're a new mother. Mm-hmm. First time mother. Yeah. You in the hotel with it. How, how, come on, experience. How's this? Uh, this is so new. Having the baby, you know, having, having a dad with her and, and just us together and as a family. It's, it's, it's something that I've never done before, but it doesn't bother me at all. I actually love it. I love having my daughter here. I love having her experience everything. She comes to the gym with me every day. So is that more motivation? Yeah, or? it's definitely more motivation having her because I know that I'm doing it for her and I'm, I'm doing it for her to look back on. And she can look back at pictures and be like, I was there and my mom did this. So I have to be better. And I want her to be better, not in boxing. Obviously, she can do whatever she wants, but she needs to know, like, this is what strong women do. Hey man, I felt that one. <laughs> no cap. Um, shoot, what's her name? Let this the world is, know. This is little Nola. She's over here drinking her milk, she, getting tired, falling asleep with dad. Did was she at the weigh-ins? She was. We, I was gonna bring her up on the stage, but she fell asleep. Uh, I, mean, I, uh, I didn't want to. Uh, you would have won already. <laughs> yeah, she would have been screaming. It would, uh, no, I couldn't do. I couldn't wake her up. But uh, that was the plan. Oh, for sure, for sure, man. You're making your way back to the ring. Uh, shoot, you said the internet has been kind of cruel to you lately. What's, uh, what you got to tell the people, man? You know, when it comes to the internet, everybody who doesn't have a voice in the real world goes online and does it. And I know that being a mother and being a fighter and just even being a woman, people don't like that in combat sports. And it's, it's a tough road. Uh, my whole pregnancy, I was scared to show it online because of the way people are and how harsh people can be and even having someone go in my inbox telling me I'm not going to be a fighter anymore I need to be a mother and and I'm this and I'm that and my all the pictures that I posted were old but they weren't nothing was old you know but obviously we're going to show pictures from the past because that's who we are but there's always just someone who has something to say no matter what you do in life someone always has something to say someone's always going to try and put you down but at the end of the day I'm still winning I'm doing everything that I want to do I'm still happy I have my family you know nothing is going to bring me down man that part hey man I know something about you that probably most people might not know or I think don't know you garden you grow vegetables Mm-hmm. Your how what you do household duties mm-hmm. traditional things is that something new that no one knows or is that a secret to me? Uh, I don't think I think people know that I garden. I like to yeah. put that on on my stories, but I just love to do stuff like that, like gardening, basically doing everything they say a woman should be doing plus more. So I get to be like the mom and the woman who's a but I get to be a badass. I can get to go home. <laughs> I love to cook. I'll cook. I'll clean go outside, have my vegetables growing, and then all of a sudden, now here I am in the gym, beating up boys, or having a, having a good time, just being in the gym around what something people call masculine. I'm not gonna cap. In the gym, you come in and look like an athlete. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna cap. Today, when you came out the hoodie, I wasn't expecting the look. The, it, was, it was on point. Mm-hmm. You definitely had the feminine, I seen the, you know, the masculine. Now I was like, damn, that was a totally different you. Yeah. Then you got your baby right here. Yep. You is really badass. You showing it and proving it. Uh, shoot. Hey, what does clocked in mean to you? You know, cl- uh, so clocked in to me would be anything that you want to do in life. And that's what you're clocking in for. You clock in to work. You clock in to grind. You clock in to do to do your duties you clock in for everything that you love you only clock out for the things you you hate to do when I'm like when people are out doing their jobs they hate doing they're clocked out they're just doing it they're, they're not there but when you're clocked in you, you're, you're focused you're determined and you're ready to get whatever needs to be done that part that part hey man tomorrow what's the uh what 
predictions, man. Is it gonna be a long night or what? For you, I'm talking about your fight. You know, I've. I've How do you trained, feel? I've trained real hard. I feel really good. I fought her before. I know we had opponents switch up late. But at the end of the day, I'm not even gonna call a knockout. I'm not gonna disrespect her. Uh, she's a, she's super tough. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I'm there to win. I don't care how I do it. I'm there to win. Would I like a knockout? Of course. Am I going for it? Yes. Will it happen? I don't know because of who she is and who I am. But at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to win. That's that's all we're going for. It's just the win. That part. Hey, outside of the ring, do you kick it with these fighters? I have a few friends. I don't. I don't kick it with male fighters because I feel like the egos and the masculinity <laughs> is too much. Yeah. But I have some friends like. Like Kalisha West, mm-hmm. fought her twice, you know, and, and we're the best of friends. Uh, you know, I can hang out with some, some people. I, I ha- like to hang out with my coach Otis, you know, and Chris, and, you know, my and my boyfriend does MMA, so we're there in the gym. Like, oh, so I, you be fighting too? Mm-hmm. Oh, all right, player, get over here too. <laughs> that part, go ahead, introduce yourself, man. Uh, Josh Moldavo. Uh, I was uh, MMA champion. Right now it's five and two, uh, and I just haven't gone in the ring in a few years, specifically uh, just for pay. And in May the pay is not the best. Uh, and then uh, yeah, I just started still training. I'm still doing what I gotta do, and if something pops up, I'm ready for it. I'm be- probably the best shape for sure, best shape of my life currently right now. Man, who met who? <laughs> I did. I met him. You put the moves on him, I and he put, put the moves on. Him. With did you hit the boxing moves or the, the line. All I told him, I was like, hey, those are some cool shoes. Was it these ones? <laughs> no, it wasn't these ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that what kind of, and then I had them after that. Uh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. What kind of shoes were they? Dress uh, shoes? Dude, they were just sneakers. Some, they, they were just some uh Was they really nice shoes or you were just talking that you shit? Know, you know what? They're they're that's the difference. That, that's <laughs> the thing. They're half nice, half regular shoes. Mm-hmm. Half nice as in cause there's a nice pattern on them that looks dressy, mm-hmm. but then they kinda just like regular shoes you can just go to the gym in or something. Mm-hmm. So and then that's when I was like, I, I go, hey, I actually like these shoes. I can dress them up, I can dress them down. She's like, Yeah, I actually like those shoes. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I'm and not bougie. It. They didn't have to be Jordans and I have yeah. to- oh, I'm gonna keep y'all I don't not no disrespect to Jordan. I just don't wear them. I don't do all that yeah, stuff. I'll yeah. fit whatever is comfortable to me is what's cool. Yeah, That's yeah. designer to me. Yeah, you yeah. feel me? So shit, if I like it, shoot, it's yeah. gonna be the best day ever. So, so then so then I think after that I would I would see your workout and I'm like, Man, I uh I didn't really see women work out that hard. I was like, man, this girl's, this girl's pretty good. And I think we started moving around in the ring together and stuff, and I was like, man, she's actually pretty good. And then I guess she's all the same thing about me. And then now we're here, look at this. Hey man, listen, did she, did she, not, did she knock you out twice? No. <laughs> oh, they're playing. Uh, shoot, any final words y'all wanna say? Y'all wanna let people know or not know or stay out your business, inbox, all that good stuff? <laughs> Stay off with a bully. Keep the negativity bully. away for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I think just just for anyone who can watch or listen, just always always go after what you want to do. Never never let anyone hold you back, and don't let any words put your mental back back into a place that it shouldn't be. Like, stay determined. Don't listen to anyone, and just do it. Yeah, I'd say the same. I'd say the best advice I'd have for anybody is just. Stop living other people's lives and worry about other people's lives and actually live for yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm not done. I thought I was done. <laughs> it's something just hit me. Are y'all in it for the sport or the or the competition, like combat? Like, yeah, I just want to punch somebody. Are y'all like the technique? Are y'all in it? Yeah. So you know what? I, I've been doing this since I was three years old. I started when I was three years old, and I'm still currently doing it. So I think. I think in boxing, there, there's not martial artists in boxing. People just kind of fight. But I guess because I've done this for so long, it's literally just the way of life. Mm. So there's no... I mean, if I'm fighting or not, I'm still training probably the same way. I'm still sparring the same way. I'm doing... It's just the way of life now. I don't think I would... Even if I would never fight, I'm still going to train. Oh, I like that. It's not a lifestyle. It's life. I like that. What, what about you? I think it's a little bit of everything. Yeah. I think it's loving what I do, finding that I'm good at something, 
And I kind of do like hitting people. Like, it's just, it's part of the sport. You can't win without punching somebody, so you kind of have to have to have some sick feeling in you that likes to punch someone. So I guess I have to kind of admit that. For sure, for sure. Do you like punching boys more? Or does it matter? You just want to get it off. You know, the thing is, is it's funny being a woman fighting or sparring girls. Mm Mm-hmm versus men is because men you can go as hard as you want but you got to know that at the end of the day they they can hit you real hard right, if right, they right. want to and i've been hurt before i've been i've been clocked a few times i've, I've had concussions <laughs> all from men <laughs> <laughs> and then you get in with the women and it's like you have to go at a certain pace with mm-hmm. some of them or or they want to go hard on you and then you got to go hard on them and then it's like then it's like a real fight it's not like um it's not Practice. like fighting the men where you can go hard and sometimes they'll still go light on you, or, but sometimes men will try to knock your head off too. So I feel like it's just either way, it's all about the mentality and the respect you have for the person across from you. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, where's your career going to go after this? Are you still going to be boxing or are you going to do something different? When, yeah, let's I'm, do it. I'm going I'm to I'm gonna become a world champion again. That's... That's my goal, become a world champion and then get back into the octagon again. I, I actually really like it. It's something new, it's something fun. Wait, what's that? I'm, I'm still, the octagon, MMA. Ah, oh, shit, I'm learning as we going. Come on, baby. I just... Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, it's like boxing, uh-huh. but the training is harder, but I feel like the fight is so much more free. I know I haven't probably been in with the top level people and that's probably why I feel the, the way I do, but even then it's still there's so much you can do and there's so much freedom in there that you can still just do what you love and get away with it right. so I, I really like it for what it is damn I like it man now I gotta go see your patch MMA now I gotta go to the octagon I gotta go so yeah y'all let me know when y'all go and I'm gonna go with y'all so y'all can teach yeah. me as I go and watch yeah. Yeah, and since you don't know anything about boxing, now you don't know. Man, about listen, boxing. I just look. It might even be a wrong move, right? And my ass would be like, "Ooh, just cause it looked good." You feel me? But they'd be like, "Man, he out of step or something like that." And I'm like, "Bro, I'm crazy. just. It's like you said. It's just entertainment, yeah, yeah, man." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's where all the sport is, bro. It's entertainment. Yes, you got to fight, cool. Yes, you got. But there's people just buying to go see someone get knocked out mm-hmm. man not like hey i hope he counters with the straight i hope he rolls and does a hook they just want to see someone that's why they want to see roly that's yeah. why they want to yeah. see the roly fights yeah. <laughs> they want to see jake paul they want to see all this other stuff it's yeah. entertaining i'm not gonna cap yeah. no one goes to nascar to see the cars use their blinkers hell no nah. <laughs> yeah. they want to see them crash and something, burn yeah yeah something happy yeah, yeah. That's the same that's thing i just went to my first drag race Oh, and it was like two weeks ago at, at the Speedway. Oh, here there Vegas. in Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know my people is best friends with the top dude, and we went to go see him, and they was getting busy. They from the Bay. Okay. Yeah. Ah man, we was at, hey, it was exciting. I didn't realize how tight it was. The car crashed. It t- took apart. Like it came apart while you were driving and yeah. shit. All type of wild. It was tight. Yeah. Yeah. It was there all day. Like That's a track cool. meet. Or something. I haven't been out there. I haven't been out there at all. I lived, I lived in Oakland the whole time, and I still never got to go see those dog races, the horse <laughs> races they had. Man, there. I was a kid. Me and my granddad used to go. Yeah. He's addicted. They don't really do them like they did back in the day. Mm-hmm. With dog races. Dog races oh, yeah. and they, they the horses. That, but I think they had the horses out yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. We used to have, we used to have, but then I guess obviously with all the. And all right, stuff, right, right, right. Michael, on. I mean, no dishes. I'll fuck with Vic. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think since Vic, everything's been yeah, kind of yeah. shut down. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's true or not, but from know. my opinion, my yeah, point yeah, of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, but the, there was like they outlaw our dog racing in Texas because we'd always, dude. I mean, like it'd be like dollar beers and shit. So people would just go there, and then there're dollar tickets for the dogs. Yeah. So you'd go there with twenty bucks, bro. Have a few beers, yeah, you do lit. a few bets, and now you're having a great time. But they're like, we can't have the dogs doing this. No more. Everybody has Wait, where are you from? That was so sidebar. Me? Where are you from and where are you from? We want to know. I'm from Chico, California. I uh, moved from there to, to to further my career to Oakland and then from Oakland to Las Vegas. Hmm. Okay, okay. What about you, player? I'm from South Texas, San Benito, Texas. Uh, the very, very bottom, basically the border town. You know where they have all those kids in the cages? 
we put them in. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you tell them, like, where are you from? Uh, like, what time we those kids at? Man, like, oh nah. my god, right there. We about to go look it up now. <laughs> 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 YouTube. Uh, for sure, for sure, man. I had a good time though. Y'all got anything else y'all yeah. wanna say before we I think it was good, for sure, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, cool. I appreciate it. This reminds me of like an old map or something, like on a ship or something, bro. This is yeah, cool. I'll put it on while I do the interview. Oh, yeah. Oh, snaps. Let's get it then. Let's come on, then. We clocked in, baby. Uh, let's get it. I'm fucking with it. Hey, man, we all saw.